Hello everybody, how are you? Well, today our class is going to be about the third part of your book, okay? So, it's still about last vacation. But before we start talking about this third part, I want to do a review with you about the interrogative sentences in the simple past, okay? Because I noticed that you had some problems Uh, building sentences, okay, so I, so I want to make sure that everybody understands the use of the did, okay? So, let's start. Remember, we are going to use did for sentences in the past, okay? So, did is the past of do, and did is an auxiliar verb. Okay, so it doesn't have a meaning. Okay, when we see the word did in a sentence, it means that this sentence is in the past and it is either a negative or interrogative question, sentence. Okay, it's a question or a negative sentence. So, uh, quando a gente vê a palavra did numa frase, a gente sabe que essa frase está no passado. E ela vai estar ou numa sentença negativa ou numa sentença interrogativa. Aqui a gente está vendo então como construir frases na forma interrogativa, tá? E é por isso que a gente está usando o did, porque ele é essencial para a construção de frases interrogativas, ok? No passado. Alright, so let's get an example, ok? First, we are going to see a sentence in the affirmative form. Okay, and then we are going to change this sentence to the interrogative form. So, let's start. For example, if we say, Anne studied, okay, Anne studied, it's a sentence, it's an affirmative sentence in the past. How do we know that this sentence is in the past? Because of the end of the verb, okay, we have... I-E-D, alright? So, that's why we know that this sentence is in the past, okay? Uh, to make this sentence into an interrogative sentence, we are going to need did, alright? So, we are going to need did to turn this sentence into a negative one. Vamos lá, então. A gente vai pegar essa frase and study it que a gente sabe que está na interrogativa, na, né, no passado, por quê? Por causa do final do verbo, ok? A gente tem o final do verbo com I, E, D, então a gente sabe que está no passado, ok? Para transformar numa pergunta, o que, que a gente vai precisar? Que a gente viu na última aula, o did, ok? So, if we use did, and we know that did is in the past, We don't need the I-E-D anymore, okay? So, the verb studied is going back to the present, so it becomes study, okay? And the did comes before the subject, so before N. Então, recapitulando tudo, a gente vai ter o nosso sujeito, vai ser a nossa pessoa, ou a nossa coisa, o objeto, um animal... Certo? E o did vem antes. Do you remember? O did vem antes. O verbo da gente, ele volta para o presente. Por quê? Porque o did já está dizendo que a frase está no passado. Ok? Então, a gente vai ter a nossa nova frase. Did and study. Ok? Now, this is an interrogative sentence. Alright? There is another way also, if you want to be more specific. Ok? We can use the word what. And the word what comes at the beginning of the question. Alright? So, we can use what did and studied. Ok? E aí, a gente vai ter o what bem no começo, como eu disse a vocês na última aula, ele vem sempre no começo da pergunta. Ok? Então, ele vem no começo, o did vem antes da pessoa ou antes do objeto, no nosso caso vai ser uma pessoa, tá? E o verbo vem depois da pessoa. Então, a gente tem 
What did Anne study? Okay, well, I'm going to put the grammar point here for you, okay? And you are going to see that you are going to study about the negative sentences in the past, okay? So, let's get that did back, okay? Because you are going to need it. Do you remember that at the beginning of the video, I told you that you're going to use did for negative and interrogative sentences, okay? You learned already how to do interrogative sentences. Now, let's learn how to make negative sentences, okay? So, to make negative sentences, we are going to need a subject, okay? Did. And together with this did, we are going to use not, okay? So, we are going to have did not, all right? And we can mix these two words and make didn't, all right? So, we have a subject, we have a didn't, and we have a verb, okay? It's pretty easy. Então, vamos lá, voltando preciso que todo mundo entenda, eu quero que todo mundo entenda isso, tá? Na forma negativa, frases no passado, a gente vai precisar das mesmas coisas. Ou de uma pessoa, ou de um objeto, ou de um anima animal, a gente vai precisar falar sobre alguma coisa, certo? E essa coisa, essa pessoa, vai ser o nosso subject. Depois do subject, a gente vai usar o didn't. Se lembram que na forma interrogativa a gente usava antes, agora na negativa a gente vai usar depois da pessoa, ok? So, for example, let's use the same sentence, and studied, ok? To make this sentence a negative sentence, we are going to use the didn't, right after and, ok? So, we have and didn't study and this study also comes back to the present form why because the did is already in the past okay então a gente vai ter os mesmos motivos aqui para colocar o verbo na forma do presente tá e deixar só o did no passado da mesma coisa na forma interrogativa. Qual vai ser a diferença aqui? A diferença é que a gente vai colocar um not junto. Porque é aí que a gente vai fazer a nossa negação, certo? E além disso, o did não vem mais na frente da pessoa, ele vem depois. Ok? So we have and didn't study. Alright? But what if we want to make an interrogative negative sentence? Wow! Ok, pay attention. If you want to make an interrogative sentence, we need to remember that the deed comes before the person. Ok? And if we want this interrogative sentence to be also negative sentence, together, interrogative and negative, we are only going to add a no or not, ok? To the deed. So, For example, let's use the same sentence, and studied. To make this into an interrogative sentence, we have did and study. But if I want to make this into an interrogative and negative sentence, we are going to have didn't and study. Okay? Just that. It's pretty simple. Well, now we are going to see the hints of the unit, okay? So, I'm going to put the names here in the pictures, all right? And I want you to repeat them after me. Let's start. Say, hiking, rambling, trails, mountain, cave, hill, Tracking. Let's try one more time. H hiking, rambling, trails, mountain, 
cave, hill, trekking. Pretty good. Now let's try the next part, okay? After me. Hiking boots, compass, sunglasses, sunscreen, sunblock, hat, insect repellent, first aid kit. One more time. Hiking boots, compass, sunglasses, sunscreen, sunblock, hat, insect repellent, first aid kit. Now I'm going to read the dialogue and I'm going to put it here, okay, as usual. I want you to read with me, okay, and after I'm going to read again, I would like you to repeat, okay? So let's start. I got a sunburn. Mary, long time no see. Why is your skin so red? Hey, John, am I that bad? I'm sorry, Mary, but you look like a tomato. <laughs> I went hiking with my family and I spent a long time in the sun. And now I got a sunburn. It hurts a lot. Oh, I see. Didn't you put on your sunscreen? Yes, but I visited so many different places and I didn't put on the sunscreen again. Ouch! And what places did you visit? I visit Grand Canyon National Park and a lot of trails around the park. Next time, I'll call you to go with us. That sounds great! Now I have to go. Bye! Bye. Now I'm going to read again and I would like you to repeat after me, okay? So pay close attention and repeat, okay? Say, I got a sunburn. Mary, long time no see. Why is your skin so red? Hey, John, am I that bad? I'm sorry, Mary, but you look like a tomato. I went hiking with my family. And I spent a long time in the sun. And now I got a sunburn. It hurts a lot. Oh, I see. Didn't you put on your sunscreen? Yes, but I visited so many different places and I didn't put on the sunscreen again. Ouch! And what places did you visit? I visited Grand Canyon National Park. And a lot of trails around the park. Next time, I'll call you to go with us. That sounds great! Now I have to go. Bye! Bye! Really good, everybody! Now, let's see the got it, okay? Remember, this unit is about negative sentences and the simple past, okay? So we may have some answers in the negative form and some answers only in the past, okay? Let's pay attention. I'm going to read the sentences and think of answers, okay? Then I'm going to answer with you. So let's start. I spent a long time in the sun yesterday. I visit many places. I didn't the sunscreen. You like it? Your parents put on the sunscreen? You go hiking? Now let's answer the got it, okay? Let's go. 
I didn't spend a long time in the sun yesterday. I didn't visit many places. I didn't put on the sunscreen. Did you like it? Did your parents put on the sunscreen? Did you go hiking? Great! For homework, as usual, you need to build four sentences. This time, only four sentences, okay? Build four sentences in the negative form and in the best, okay? So, the sentences need to be negative and in the past. Alright? Então, para a tarefa de casa, vocês vão fazer four sentences, ok? Na negativa, na forma negativa e no passado. É, cada frase tem que ser na negativa e no passado. Alright? You can check the grammar point, ok? So, do it. If you have any question, you can ask me next class, ok? And that's it, guys. It was really nice to see you. Okay, see you next week. And bye-bye.